Hey, John Burnell with Agile Off-Road. We've showed you the front differential out of the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 4x4 and how it works and what goes on in there with the planetary gear and the bevel gear and all that. And we have a, a video for you to watch on that. We're gonna show you the all-wheel drive unit. It's quite a bit different, although it's very similar in its design. So let's take a look at it. The input going from the drive trains still on the driver's side. But now what we're gonna see is this bigger part here where we would assume that our ring and pinion is gonna be in here. Now there's still a bevel gear in there, very similar to the full drive where it transferred into a planetary gear. This one is gonna transfer into a helical gear. I'm sitting in the van. This is the driver's side, this is the passenger side. We've had this apart. They do not come apart this easy, but give you an idea. So that comes out. This part here has the axle for the passenger side fixed to it. All this, that's like a shield for keeping the oil, we believe, all in here. It looks like there's some things for catching the oil and dripping it down onto the gear and everything up in here. And it appears to have like a bearing here and a bearing here, so pretty good. Your drive axle will snap into here. Here's our differential. So if you were to have a locker and this is where the locker would be, but nobody makes a locker for it. So this actually can differentiate between side to side, just like normal differential. Pull that guy out. There's the helical gear, which is being driven off of the bevel gear that's on the back side here. So here's the small helical. There's the other axle. It's gonna be much shorter because it's on the driver's side. So that one's going into the drive axle that's connected to the wheel down here on this side. Here's our bevel gear. So the bevel gear, is taking our input from the transfer case into this gear here, transferring it into this gear. Some people might think of this like a, a pinion gear, this is your ring gear, but it's actually a, a bevel gear. And then the bevel gear, all this stuff, just so you know, this is welded together. This is not a serviceable part where we can change these components out. Basically, this helical gear is then gonna drive the helical gear on the differential. The differential sits slightly offset to it and you can see where it's now driving the driver's side axle and then as it goes in it's going to drive the longer one over here as it goes into the carrier here so here you can see how from the bevel gear we're getting our drive and then it's turning the differential and the differential is going out to the axles so that's it it's actually Pretty simple. Whether or not it's robust enough for what we're doing with the sprinters, uh, time will tell. It seems like it's worked so far. The pinion gears in here and the side gears, they seem like they're fairly large, even though this is a fairly small carrier. The drive for the axle is a little bit different design than the four-wheel drive where we've actually had failures on those. This one seems to be potentially probably a bit more robust. Uh, t again, time will tell. This is a 392 gear ratio. So one thing with the all-wheel drive is, right now we're going with the assumption that if you are driving the front differential, there should be a 50-50 split in the transfer case. So as we're driving the rear, we're driving the front. That means that if one or both of the front axles or tires are spinning, one or both of the rear tires is spinning the same. So we need to have a matched gear ratio. How they're accomplishing that gear ratio, because this bevel gear is not a 392, they're actually getting an additional reduction in this gear here. The small end of the bevel gear is 17, the larger is 38, so that's like a 2.238. And then for the uh, helical gear, our smaller gear is 29, and our larger gear is 51. When you take those two and you put them, you, you times them by each other, your gear ratio is gonna be 3.929. So there's your 392 ratio. In the case of the all-wheel drive, this gear ratio, we are assuming is gonna to have to match 100%. Whereas in the front differential for the four-wheel drive, because it had an open center diff, all these were the same gear ratio and that calculated out to about a 420. So with your all wheel drive, if you're thinking about changing your rear gears, you can't, you'd have to get a, a matching front differential. So that's it, it's a pretty cool little piece.